What are the BCTF's hope for the future of BC education? Wow. Um, books have been written on that topic. But I think I can, in, I can encapsulate it briefly in this. They want an education system where every kid, regardless of economic background or learning disabilities or any kind of identity they may bring to the table, has absolute maximum opportunities to learn and succeed. Okay. What are the three biggest issues, in your opinion, in our education system? Biggest issues as in problems? Yes. Lack of funding would be number one, front and center. The I wish politicians lost more sleep trying to figure out how to put more money in the system. Mm -hmm. Number two uh, would be that politics in BC, no, education in BC is a political issue. It's not this thing that has bubbled off where we just school to educate kids. And most kids go through the system without bumping into a lot of the politics. But the adults, especially this year in the bargaining year, it's, it's politics. Everyone's got an opinion. Everyone wants their piece in place. Um, and third, biggest problem in the school system. I don't. Hmm. I feel like there isn't the hunger for education that may have existed in prior generations when parents and grandparents had had limited opportunities for education. It is assumed everyone can just go through the whole time now and take advantage of an almost endless buffet of opportunities. Okay, thank you. Um, what do you think we're doing to fix these problems? Wow. Uh, number one, the funding. Uh, within the BCTF, there is a constant lobbying to government, uh, to MLAs, to the Premier, to school boards, uh, to advocate for more funding, to change the tax, right, right down to how taxes should be collected in this province. Um, there are parent groups who are on board with this, trustees, I have seen trustees in this district lobby for more money. So the, the politics is happening. Mm -hmm. Now number two, the, the problem with politics in education is a tricky one. Um, but given how much money is in education, you will never ever get the politics out. It's too big now. There's a saying, I'm going to butcher the, the, the exact quote, that the price of freedom is constant vigilance. I think the cost of having an expensive education system is constant vigilance in terms of keeping politics out of it as much as possible. That we need to make sure that you know some crazy liberal or crazy conservative teacher isn't trying to stick handle things down the way they should go. Yeah, we keep an eye on each other to try to make sure no one's getting too much of a show. Mm -hmm. What are three positive things about the British Columbia school system that separates us from other provinces? Well, what comes to mind immediately is we've got one of the top education systems in the world. Mm -hmm. You hear about education systems in China and Korea doing really well, or maybe Finland doing mm -hmm. well. Uh, Canada usually ranks in the top 10, BC usually in the top five. I think we tend to undervalue how well we're doing. On international testing, we are heavy, heavy hitters. Mm -hmm. uh, we produce a lot of intellectuals, uh, researchers. Uh, we're capable of producing well-educated people. We have a literacy rate that is um, effectively 100%. Virtually every kid that goes into our school system comes out knowing how to read at some level. They might be behind grade levels. Not everyone's a good reader. Uh, but you know, in classes of kids that struggle academically, yeah, most of them can read at some level. That's a massive victory. Look at you two. You, did you ask for three things that are going well? Yes. Yeah. Let me tag on to that the fact, especially in the current climate, mm -hmm. kids are by and large welcome. Mm -hmm. There was a time a kid who was LGBTQ wouldn't 
have been terribly welcomed, as a matter of fact, would have been unsafe in a BC public school. Uh, those kids have active protections in place now. There was a time that a kid who had been diagnosed with some kind of, uh, as non-neurotypical, you know, about anxiety issues, or maybe bipolar, or maybe they suffer from depression, or mm -hmm. autism, they simply wouldn't have been welcomed in school. They're welcome now. There's supports in place, there's places they can go, and even mainstream classrooms are much more welcome. I think that's something that's going very well. Absolutely. Um, what, in your opinion, can we do in the school system to improve student mental health? Mm -hmm. To improve student mental health. Number one, make sure that teachers not, not only are aware of which kids in the class are struggling mm -hmm. with mental health issues, that already happens, um, but make sure that teachers are aware of what to do with those students beyond just trying to be nice to them. I mean, that, of course that helps, but you know, what, what can a person do for those kids? Mm -hmm. right? I mean, it, it's too much to expect a teacher to become a psychologist. There are different professions for a reason. But certainly that doesn't mean that the teacher is powerless to help with mental health. Uh, another thing is uh, having teachers be aware of what warning signs are. There is training given in teacher school as to what to look for, you know, but always doing professional development on that would be good. And another one, of course, is dovetails into more money. More psychologists. Uh, the psychologists we've got in this district are spread very thin. It would be nice if we had more psychologists mm -hmm. in the system. Why is any of this important to you? <laughs> Why is it important to you? That one could be a long answer, but I'll try to keep it brief. There, I, I, I want kids to learn. I want to live in a community and a society and a country that is not filled with ignorant people making bad decisions. People make better decisions when they've got good information and having a solid education is part of that. I see an educated populace and therefore public education as the cornerstone to a healthy democracy. People cannot vote, make good voting decisions unless they're well educated. Um, furthermore, I just really like teaching and I want my schools to be well funded and I want them to be palaces where kids can come to and learn and where teachers can come to and have the best possible, I mean, this is my, we don't think of it this way, this is my work site, right? This is a, your classroom, my work site. I want my work site to be nice, mm -hmm. right? Which sounds maybe a little selfish, but it's my one little plug at the end. Fair enough? Yes. Okay. All right. Thank you for your time. You're very welcome.